Welcome to Zach D TV, the place for interesting news from around the net. In today's episode, we're going to look at three awesome machines that you have to see. Keep in mind, if you want more interesting news like this seven days a week, click the subscribe button right over here. Alright, let's get into this. If you guys have been watching my show for a while, you have seen my reports on the Megabots Karatis fight. It's supposed to happen in August. It's not going to. It's going to be September. But Megabots wants to keep their fans happy. They release this video. Here we see the creation they're calling Eagle Prime running through its paces. We see him knock down a barricade, do a little bit of slalom work, fire his cool paintball things. Even cooler, it looks like he has a flaming one now. How neat is that? And we wrap up with him running into the Mark II. And you see what that log grapple can do. Now, we still don't have any word from Karatis yet. They did say the fight's been pushed back to September due to logistic problems. I'm just wondering if the Japanese team might be afraid. Because honestly, not just to be like, Merka, but this mech is built to fight. The Karatis was built as a $1.3 million toy for rich people. I wonder if they're scared. What do you guys think? Which robot is going to come out on top in this battle? Let me know in the comments down below. Next, I have to show you this footage. This is a battle by La Machine held on the streets of Ottawa. If you haven't heard of La Machine, which I haven't until today, they are a street performing company that uses giant robots to play out a scenario. They have orchestra music going, they put them through their paces, they do some cool stuff. Just look at these things. They are amazing. Like the spider there, he spits water, rears up on his legs, all that kind of stuff. I understand it takes 16 people to control that spider. His name is Kumo and he weighs in at 40 tons. The horse dragon is named Long Ma. He is 45 tons and can breathe smoke and fire. This stuff's amazing, isn't it? La Machine was founded nearly 20 years ago back in 1999 and they started off small building small robotics holding little mechanical carnivals and whatnot and they have grown into this they also put on urban shows it's like the artwork you would find in a park only these are mechanized like look at these creatures from the anima de la place my french is bad i took four years in high school but i got out of there around the same year that la machine was set up but these things are ultra cool too. I mean, here we have we have mechanical storks that can be controlled by people that are at the exhibit. Also, beautiful looking carp. They have these great looking frogs set up out in the water. A hippopotamus and even a cool crocodile. This setup contains 13 wooden and steel animals. For another show they put on, they built this giant elephant. These have got to be some of the coolest machines I have ever seen. And their performance in Ottawa at the end of July is the first time they've performed in North America. I could not find a schedule for their events. I searched and searched and searched. Actually, I spent so much time looking at these that I'm not filming till three o'clock. Usually I'm filmed by noon. I know, I'm a little bit behind. But I am looking forward to them making their way down south here to the United States. If they come anywhere near me, I am going to go see this performance. Let me know what you think. Would you take a trip to go see this? I think it'd be awesome. And finally, let's come back to the U.S. and look at Boston Dynamics' newest animal. They did release him back in 2016, but they've been making improvements ever since. This is Little Spot. Look at that cute little thing that nightmares are made of. This is a highly advanced robot that Boston Dynamics believes will be able to be used in offices and homes to augment human life. It can retrieve things, get drinks for us, stuff like that. It has that nightmare grabber off the front of it. I don't know. That thing just makes me uneasy for some reason. It looks so odd. And when he shakes like this, it's cool that it can maintain position, but it's just a little unnerving, isn't it? But look at the dexterity this thing has too. Walking over that box, able to go upstairs, but just like any Looney Tune, he can't handle banana peels. I had to include that clip. It made me bust out when I saw that. I was laughing so hard. But they also make this in a more finished version. And it's about ready to go to market. Of course, they're not going to be cheap. But this could be one of the first real productive home robots that we see come to the market. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for stopping in. Remember, if you like this video, share it with your friends. Put it out on Facebook, Twitter. Every bit of exposure would help me. And you could show your people something really cool. 
I do this five days a week with a live stream on Saturday and a short on Sunday. So I hope to see you here again. And until next time, have fun and be safe.